What's the deal, family man? Welcome back to the Real Distraction channel on YouTube. It's your boy, Sean, and you know we here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, Wayne, Wayne Shelford, man. Wayne Buck Shelford, man. One of the uh, ex-All New Zealand All Blacks Rugby Union captains, man. One of the, actually, from what I've read, he was one of the, the most successful, uh, one of the most successful captains ever for the uh, All Blacks, man. He even revi revitalized the Kaame. I hope I'm saying that right. Kaame Haka for the All Blacks, man. So super old school OG player, man. He was also at the Jonah Lomu um, uh, funeral doing the Haka. So he's an OG All Black, man. We about to see what happened. Apparently, this dude cut his testicles open. <laughs> In the middle of a game, had them stitched up mid-game, went back to play, then got uh, kicked out of the game because he had, like, he was bleeding on his head or something. This is a story I, I read in the comments. I ain't even looked up no videos about it. But I think this video is going to talk about it. So we got a little double header. We got this video, and then we're going to get into a tribute for him too, man. So we're going to do a little double up. And, uh, man, see what Buck Shelford talking about. I'm excited for this one, man. I'm really digging these all black, all black uh, union players, man. So... We gonna get straight into it, but before we do, man, 10K subs giveaway. I'm giving away some money to my subscribers at the end of this month. If you want a chance to win some money at the end of this month, man, for me, all you gotta do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, take a picture, follow me on Instagram, link in the description, send me the picture and the reason you enjoy the channel, what you like watching on the channel, what made you subscribe to the channel, whatever it is you wanna put or say. All you gotta do is those four or five steps or whatever, it's all free, <laughs> and you get a chance to win some money, man. So if you support and you want to do that, go ahead and run it up. And that's it, man. So we're going to get straight into this video, man. Buck Shell for Tough Bastards, man. Let's see what he got to say on this one, man. Let's get to it. Of, um, many of the Frenchmen that I passed on the way out, and their eyes were huge, like big tennis balls, and they were glaring at you. They were on something, I believe, and I knew we were going to be up against it. And that they were just unrelenting. Every ruck they climbed into, they booted us, they kicked us, and we just carried on playing and then giving back as much as we could. I think within about 15, 20 minutes in the first half, I got caught at the bottom of a ruck and got, got booted right in the face, and I lost three teeth on my uh, mm. my right hand side. So I just carried on, got on with the game, and uh, just he said, I lost three teeth on my right side. I carried on and got on with the game. Come on, you lost three teeth. Middle of a ruck. This means when they're all piled up on each other. Middle of a ruck. Lost three teeth and just said, you know, we, we gonna, I mean, let's keep playing. <laughs> Come on. That's a tough bastard. Before <laughs> half time, I went into another a defensive ruck and I grabbed the ball with two hands and I ripped it free. And then I looked up at the same time. And as I looked up, John Pierre Garraway was horizontal and he hit me straight in the middle of a forehead. Man, he knocked me out cold. It took me two minutes to come round. And uh, Jock Hobbs said, you can't go off, you've got to stay. We've got no one on the bench. They're all injured. And so we, we carried on playing. And then about 10 minutes into the second half, I went down over Daniel De Brocker and uh, ripped the ball off him. And as I stood up, Daniel kicked me right in the nuts. Oh. And it bloody hurt. So I was cringing in there for a little while and, and uh, went, sat down on the ground to try and get my breath back and chucked a bit of water down there. And I thought nothing of it. And I carried on playing. And the, and the All Black changing room is very, very morbid, very, very quiet after a loss. And this is the first loss that I'd ex experienced in the All Black jersey. I decided to get dressed. I stood up, ripped my gear off, pulled my strides down. And then one of the guys from across the room, uh, I think it was Gary Wetton or John Gallagher, and they saw something I didn't see originally. And they said, holy shit, look at that. One of my testicles has been ripped right out of the scrotum. And it was hanging. Come on, bro. How you got a ball hanging out your sack and you don't even know? How you got a ball out your shit? You don't feel the little extra little ball hanging on your leg or something? I mean, they probably got the shorts on, so it's all tucked anyway, but... Boy, I would have lost it if I saw one of my balls just chilling. Like, how the other ball ain't falling out, but one ball fell... Like, I got one ball... Like, how does it even hold? I'm so I got so many questions. Is it just like a little string and then a ball at the end, like a little? More? I don't even want to know, bro. That shit is crazy. In between my, my legs and gee, there was blood and there was uh, bits of uh, fat tissue down all over the place. And oh. uh, we had a quick shower and then basically went upstairs into a medical room and got it all tidied up and put back together. And uh, you know, 
just these sort of things do happen and you've just got to play he did a whole shower before he went to the I would have instant do hey doc uh, you going to have to clean this up doc <laughs> doc you going to have to clean this up doc I ain't about to go shower I got you got a loose ball and you shower it with soap and shit like I don't know, or water or <laughs> that's a tough bastard Play on that's a tough bastard that's for sure all right, man, let's get into that tribute, man. Let's see what he's talking about on the rugby field, though, man. It's going to be some old footage. I kind of looked over it. Uh, so hopefully it's not too bad in quality, but it should be all right, man. But it is like a 11 year old video. So we on that 480p, whatever. Mana. Against France. Twins on the track. Twins on the track. Twins on the track. Play it on. That boy played through pain. That's why he's that's why he's a legend cuz he won't give up no matter what the injury no matter what the pain no matter what the it's he don't even be knowing when he hurt he be having all types of shit going on he don't even be knowing what's happening that's a tough guy, guy man that's why he's that's why he yeah that's why he a legend cuz he tough super tough <laughs> Swinging on him. <laughs> Boy came out the bottom of that pile, still with the ball and all types of injuries. Who knows? For Scotland. Oh, we taking off too. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you saw that? One dude in the red started swinging on the all blacks and they all came in real quick. Number five started swinging and getting reckless with his with his arms. They all came in real quick and shut that down. Shut that down fast. We ain't about to do that over here, homie. And no notice all the dudes in the red or the orange or whatever. They wasn't helping him out, but they all came through. You about to do that? Look at that. What? Bink? Okay, one guy came in, then he got dropped. Bink? What's up? There you go. Ooh, nice dump off. Ooh, beast mode. Get off me. Great pass. Oh, there you go. Run it up. 
Burn it up. Get off me. That's the Ka'a Mate Haka. So in that in that Ka'a Mate Haka, do they always line up in this kind of like circle or like V form? Let me know in the comments. Are they always in that little circle, little V kind of form that they in right there? Oh, he's a beast. Hey, hey, he been, they've been giving that work to Wales all video. I don't know if it's because it's limited footage from the same games, but they giving that work to Wales, bro. Sorry. Nice. Showing respect at the end, I like that. Still gotta shake their hands. Twins on the track. Twins on. Wow, Wayne Buck Shelfer from the 80s, late 80s out here, man. What a tough bastard that is, man. All black. I wish they had better footage, you know what I'm saying, so I can see what's going on a little bit more. But still, bro, that dude was tough. He's a legend for a reason. And by some of the highlights you could see, you could tell when he was ready to put in that work, he was ready to go. So that's it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I have to get tribute to the legend, man. And that's it, man. Go in the comments. Let me know if uh, there's any other people I need to be doing. You already know what to do. I'm going to check them out, man. Also, if you want to win some money, just go back to the beginning of the video. Follow those same four or five steps, man. It gives you a chance to win some money at the end of this month. I love and appreciate y'all. Catch you in the next. Peace.